and hope has been rekindled with a pact signed between the Buhari administration and Russia that the Ajaukuta Steel Development Company will soon be resuscitated. Now, during an inspection tour, Minister of Mines and Steel Development ruled out concessioning the multi billion dollar company. Joke Adisa reports. This visit by the ministers in charge of Nigeria's mines and steel industry is for first hand assessment. They are accompanied by the host governor, Yahya Bele. The first point of call is the National Iron Ore Mining Company, located in Itakwe, Kogi State. It is the raw material center for the steel industry. This is an area view of the company, founded years ago, but was soon after neglected. New Life Ogboko is one of the workers here. He has put in about 15 years of his life on the job, but he is unfulfilled. His wish, like that of his colleagues, is that the government does all that is needed to revamp the ailing company. The biggest challenges we have is the concessional agreement the federal government entered into with uh, Jainel, Global Infrastructure Nigeria Limited, which we see as a failure and a hindrance to the revenue that could be generated from this place. This delegation comes with assurance of a new future as the minister rules out privatization of the company. Ajaukuta and Itape will stay in government hands and will produce to the benefit of the people of Nigeria, no matter whose ox is God. From Itakwe, the team heads to Ajaukuta. The Ajaukuta Steel Development Company sits on 24,000 hectares of sprawling greenfield land mass. The steel plant is built on 800 hectares of land. It was conceived in 1979 and its foundation laid in 1981 by the Shewu Shagari administration. From the fire service, thermal power plant facilities, blast furnace, metallurgical training institute, and water intake and river port, the visiting team assesses the state of the company. Having gone on the inspection tour, the ministers speak on the ongoing move by the incumbent administration to revive the healing organization. The first thing is that you see, we've got to have the blast furnace running, which is the raw material for most of these things. And that's what the Russians are helping us to. But even the small workshops that are functioning now, they are functioning at very low capacity because all they do is do maintenance. Uh, this company uh, needs this particular thing to be repaired or replaced. But we want them to start producing things that they can offer for sale. That is, they go commercial. We do everything for the federal government to come in to resuscitate this investment. And you can see they are already, they're already working. The light means are already working. The state government is excited about the prospect of job creation for its team in view. The benefit to Kogi State is that there will be job employment. IGR is going to increase. There will be security because by the time all the youths and restive ones are engaged, they come to work, by the time they return home, they are tired, they are gainfully employed, insecurity is going to reduce, if not zero level. This visit by the two ministers of Mines and Steel Development and the latest memorandum of understanding signed with Russia raises fresh hope for many Nigerians that the Ajao Kuta Steel Company will kick off soon. Joke Adisa, TVC News, Ajao Kuta Kogi State.